Hey guys, welcome to episode 22 of my investment journey series. 22 weeks in a row I've been doing these videos, absolutely insane, still going strong. So if you haven't seen me before, seen my face, seen my cat Hugo here, who recently has been making more of an appearance in these sort of videos, until right now because he's decided to jump down. Now he's up at the camera. Not a good place to be. Yeah, if you've not seen us before, my name's Ian. I've been investing using the Trading212 app since the beginning of April when the UK entered lockdown. People that have watched previous videos will know I thought it was a good time to get into the world of investing, stock markets, everything crashed in price. I thought, good time to get in, to buy low, hopefully sell high in the future. So that's why I'm doing this. I've been filming these videos, like I say, once a week to keep me accountable, keep me on track, and also to hopefully provide some sort of value to you that's currently watching this out there. So if it does seem like something you're interested in, please consider subscribing to this channel if you are not already subscribed. Click the subscribe button below. Also, please give this a like. I really want to try and reach at least 20 likes on this video, so please, if you're watching this, click that like button, give it a thumbs up. If you're not gonna do it for me, do it for Hugo here. Like, he's begging you guys just to give him a like. Or give, not, like I say, don't like me, like, give him a like, you know? He just won't that engine. And uh, yeah, I think he'll thank you for it. So we're going to jump over to my iPhone screen like we always do. I will open up the Trading212 app on my iPhone. I will go through what's happened this past week in terms of my investments. We'll look at what I've bought, what I've sold, what dividends I've received, if anything, and take it from there really. So as always guys, thank you for watching. Also important to note, at the time of filming this, we are two subscribers away from hitting 400. So if you're watching this again, you're not currently subscribed, please consider subscribing. I'd love to get over the 400 by, like say, getting into the weekend or by Sunday night even. So yeah, that's all for now. Let's jump over now to investments. We'll see what's been going on and hopefully you will stick around till the end and leave some comments afterwards. Thanks again, guys. All for now. See you later, you go. Here we are on my phone, as always. Open trading 212 account, head to portfolio page. Straight away, eyes at utilization, as you can see, 32%. That's not changed from last week. Looking at the portfolio value overall, we're now £8,226.52. That is the total value of this portfolio. So I've invested £7,950.14 and we're currently sitting at a return of £276.30. So we're 3.48% up on the portfolio. If you see these numbers jumping about a little bit, that's only because the US markets are still currently open. I'm filming this just now, as you can see at the top left there, 5.23pm UK time. So the US markets are still open, but the UK market has now closed. So sticking on the weekly view like I always do, from last week we were at a return of £220.08 which was 2.77% up on the portfolio and it's now at a £276.16 return which is 3.47% up on the portfolio. So it has went up which is good news, it's went from 220 to 276 so the portfolio has jumped from 8152 to 8226 in value so I'm chuffed with that. Having a quick glance at the investments here, we can see green, green, red, green, 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 red, red, green, green, red, 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 and green. So there's actually more green this week from last week, so that's definitely good news. Let's just quickly check the history and we'll see what's actually been going on this past week. I don't actually think I've done too much in terms of investments, but important to note, 24th August, which was Monday, I believe. Yeah, 24th of August, which was Monday, I actually received two free shares in National Grid. That's these ones here. So it says bought one, but that's just how it mentions it, even if you do receive a free share. So whoever was out there that signed up to my through my referral link on Trading212, big thanks to you guys. So I received a further two free shares here. So I'm no longer sitting on my three free shares of National Grid. I'm now at a total of five, thanks to these two here. Looking at dividends for this past week, on the 25th of August, funnily enough, we're seeing a National Grid one again. So that was a dividend of 96p. Unfortunately, I never received those free shares by the ex-div date, so it only counts for the three shares that I had previously. So three free shares there of National Grid netted me a total of a 96 pence dividend. So again, that's something, chuffed with that. So my total dividends received since the beginning of April when I started investing is 43 pounds 70 pence. Coming back to my portfolio page, we'll just have a quick look at each of these investments, sticking again as always on the weekly views. So American Airlines is up 10.93% from last week. Sydney World Group is up 22.31% from last week. That's a big improvement, big jump up. Kinda wish I maybe did put some more money in Sydney World Group now, but I never. I guess a lot of this is down to the cinema starting to reopen again in a lot of places. So yeah, I think they're only gonna continue to increase for the time being. And you can see right there, that's a 64.91% up 
return for my investment my 200 shares i've got there in cineworld so yeah definitely looking positive and i'm sure a lot of you guys out there who have more shares in cineworld will be seeing a lot more green than i'm currently seeing hive group from last week it's jumped up by 2.56 percent still a negative return overall of down seven pound 97 pence so 27.52 percent in the red iShares Core FTSE 100 from last week, it's actually down 0.54% overall, but still showing a healthy return of £75 and 2 pence, so still 3.83% up on the portfolio. The S&P 500, my 80 units, looking at the weekly view from last week, it's actually increased by 1.16% and it's now showing a return of £194.96, so 10.3% up. The Nasdaq 100, so recent watchers to this, these videos will know I recently purchased a new share in the nasdaq 100 so i've now got two shares with this etf and technology's been on fire lately it just seems to keep climbing there seems to be no stop to the technology sector the growth that's going through right just now and looking at the weekly view it's actually up 1.99 percent from last week so i've now got my two units like i say and that's now shown a return of 85 pounds 75 pence so 9.26 percent up the iShares physical gold etf i've got here looking at the weekly view 0.62 percent down from last week so that return is now negative, negative £29.25, so it's down by 6.34% for me. Be interested to know if any of you guys out there are currently holding gold, and if so, if you can let me know in the comments if you're currently up with that investment or if you're also in the red for the time being. The S&P 500 healthcare sector from last week, it's actually up by 1.33%, so it's still showing a return of negative £7.20, so it's actually down by 3.06%. Legal and General Group weekly view down from last week by 3%. So we're showing a return still in the green, £18.68, so 6.32% up overall. Five shares in MGM Resorts from last week, it's up 13.98%, so that's actually quite a significant jump. And I've, like I say, I've got my five shares there, currently showing a return of 65 pence, so it's up by 0.72% overall for me. If you're invested in MGM Resorts, let me know what your plan is. Is it a long-term thing for you? Is it a bit like me and you kind of just invested in them for a little bit of a gamble? And if so, like I say, let me know in the comments. Just want to see what your thoughts are for the long-term view on MGM Resorts. Next up's National Grid, my five free shares in National Grid. And from last week, it's actually down by 3.93%. So yeah, my five shares, they're all free shares received from you lovely people out there signing up through my referral links on Trading212. Royal Dutch Shell is next up, my 78 shares from last week, it's 0.56% down and that's now showing a negative return, £162.23, so it's down overall by 16.32%. Under Armour is next up, looking at the weekly view, 2.46% up from last week. Showing a return overall of negative £1.4, so 6.5% down. Again, these are two free shares I received from you people out there signing up through my links, so big thanks again for that. Valaris is next one to look at here. This has been my worst investment so far on my portfolio, and recently they just announced, I'll take you to the history and actually show you what's been going on, but they just recently filed for bankruptcy. I'm going in the wrong place here, it's actually under notifications. Yeah, you can see this here, so Valaris Place. And it's mentioned here, as an investor in Valaris, you are probably aware that on 19th August, blah, blah, blah. So they've been delisted from the stock exchange completely, filed for bankruptcy and all that. And basically, I am now advised by Trading212 to simply sell whatever value I've got left in that investment, which, as you can see, is not a lot. It's £6.35. So the return on that, down £38.16. So I have lost money in this investment. It's probably the first investment I have lost some money on. I'm just grateful I didn't put more money into this one. Always was kind of a risky stock for me, it was kind of a, a gamble and as you can see it's definitely not paid off. If you were invested in Valaris, let me know in the comments section, interested to hear if you've lost money or if you were able to get out and actually make a profit before things got really bad. So yeah, let me know in the comments section just to see where you stand because I'd be interested to hear. And finally, we've got Vanguard FTSE Emerging Markets. From last week, it's actually up by 0.92%. Pretty significant amount when you consider what I've got invested in here. So I've got 21 units in the CPF, currently showing that return, £96.60 in the green, 11.13% up overall. I think if we look at this out of all my investments, so that's up by 11.13%, and I think that's maybe my best performing one at the moment. Obviously, Cineworld Group's up by 64.91%, so we've got Cineworld at the top, followed by American Airlines, and then we're looking at the Vanguard FTSE Emerging Markets in terms of the percentage they've increased by in the portfolio. 
But yeah, I'm a big fan of the FTSE Emerging Markets. I do like this ETF and it'll be one that I continue to hold for a long time. So looking at the allocation overall for this portfolio, 15 investments still, S&P 500, FTSE 100 right at the top, followed by the NASDAQ 100, the FTSE Emerging Markets, and then Royal Dutch Shell, and everything below that is under that 10% mark. So as always, the bulk of my portfolio is taken up by ETFs right at the top, and they will always continue to be that way. I love my ETFs. I like how they diversify your portfolio, not having all your eggs in one basket. So that is why I'll continue to have them at the top and take up the biggest chunk. And again, if you're interested in signing up to Trade212, if you do so through this link you're currently seeing on your screen, and I'd, like I mentioned, it's in the description below this video, it's also top comment pinned in the comment section. Sign up, create yourself an account, you'll receive a free share worth up to £100, and so will I. If you do end up doing that, please leave a comment on this video and let me know what free share you receive. It'd be extremely interested to know. And that's how everything's looking this week. So £276, 16% up now. Like I say, US markets are still jumping about a little bit because they're still open. But that is all for now. Hope you've enjoyed this. Please remember to like the video, comment below. Really trying to reach 20 likes in this video at a minimum. And I love discussion. I love building up a discussion with all you guys out there. So yeah, please do leave a comment. And once again, consider subscribing if you've not subscribed to any of these videos or this channel before. Follow along with the journey and let's see how things are looking in 5-10 years down the line. Thanks again guys and I hope to see you in the next one.